is about to begin. This is the mindset of every entrepreneur when he starts off with this journey. So I want to make it, make this session an interactive to think about entrepreneurship. The developing sector. Uh, entrepreneurship is basically all about pursuing your uh, dreams in basically, basically. First step come, comes with an idea inside your head, idea generation. Once you have that, you have to make, maintain a fabulous team. You have to get hold of the best people. And then, all you have to do is execution. So this is in a nutshell what entrepreneurship is about. Now let's have a look at what is an entrepreneur. Now the thing is hope is very important over here. Because nothing is guaranteed. You, you are taking financial risks. You are putting aside your friends and family. You are leaving your job. Maybe a very high paid salary. Just for something with the hope that it will He must be one person who finds innovation. And market gaps for new product. Innovation is what? It's using existing technology. Bending it around, twisting it a little bit so that you make better use of it. And that's all. why should we become an entrepreneur? That's the second question after what should, is an entrepreneur. Pursue your passion first of all, not do the mundane job of maybe going to office every day, 9 in the morning, coming back at 5 and dreaming about your whole life as to how boring it is. There is no cap on your earning potential as well because if your business flourishes, definitely you're, happy, you're gonna break in the mood. If you're in a job, you develop a very constrained skill set. If you're an entrepreneur, your skill set, your knowledge is widely expressed and no one's going out. What makes it good entrepreneur? You need to hit the loopholes in the uh, system that is existing in order to force through. Problem solver. Problem solving capability. Leadership quality. Communication skills. Rich background. A rich background. Uh, what makes you say that? Obviously, capital is important. Okay, that is very interesting. So you see, uh, for getting capital, you don't need to be rich yourself. You need to approach the investors so that you can convince them because my idea is great and you need to invest in my idea. So you don't need to be rich for that. You need to be smart and clear as to how to talk and convince them. But then in the long run, you have to go to investors. You have to convince people that your idea is the primary purpose of social is to create a social impact along with you know, still generating a certain amount of profits so that you are sustainable. Now, the business, business entrepreneurship is primarily and completely focused on generating business Making your business model huge, explode in the market and generate huge amounts of profit. You're not after money, social entrepreneurs, they're after making a social impact, helping people around them. Right? Social entrepreneurs, uh, how many of you guys know about Kunch or Kanch or Gami? And Modi founded a global software consultancy company, which is from a small quarter in Bangalore, India, just with the idea of making the next apple from it. Okay, tourism, manufacturing, information technology. These are booming sectors, and if you have a fabulous team, if you have the passion, you can really do really well in all of these fields in India. My idea entrepreneur is not Steve Jobs, is not Bill Gates, is not Mr. <coughs> Martin is a fictional character indeed, Captain Jack Sparrow. Why? Because he's got all the capabilities, all the qualities which I mentioned before. He's a fabulous student, he is immensely flexible, he can get out of situations like this, which is very much required for an entrepreneur.